So hi, welcome to another dialog tutorial. So there's sometimes that you want to set up some feed on you want to set up some feed automatically. You want to populate some feed um, just like so without your users imputing anything. These feeds might be you generating a random number. These feeds might be a verification code. It might be something else from a different table entirely, but you just want to populate it without your users populating it for you. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So if you go to the database, you would see um, you have users, you have all the stuff in the database. See, I could add a feed like verification. So the way this works is, um, the way this work is, so probably you have a verification screen. A verification screen, you don't just want your, you don't just want your users to be able to get into your, to sign up immediately or probably you don't really want your users to <clears throat> to get into some part of your application without actually verifying themselves or maybe you want your users to you want to be able to make use of some referral code so this can work very well it could be a referral code it could be a verification code it works nonetheless so the way you do it is this you can populate this automatically from this database automatically or you can populate it externally it really depends on how you want to do it if you want to populate this verification externally then you would have to you know um, you would have to click right here and view the documentation here you'll be able to get the API and you'll be able to update the record every time a user sign up but we don't want to do it externally we just want to do it internally since we're going to be sending a verification code in this tutorial so this is how we'll do it. We will just, you know, we want to do this whenever a user signs up. We want to create a new verification code for any user that signs up. And we don't want the user to create it themselves. We want to be able to populate it ourselves. So what we'll do is that we'll click right here, choose feeds, choose the feed and say Automa add automatic feeds verification. So then it's going to ask us what do we want to put here. We'll just generate it randomly by adding a math function called random so what this does is that it it gives you it generates like six numbers it generates numbers at random from one to the number of digits you want so if you want a five uh, a, a five a, a five digits you put uh, a, a, a five number of nines so it really depends on the numbers you want so it's going to generate you know six digits just like so every time a user sign up so the flow would be like this whenever a user sign up you will generate this code and send it to them via email. You could do so via Integromat. You know, you can you, you can do so via Integromat. You pick the you watch for the record for the new record. You get the new record and you send it to the person via email, and that's what you have. So then the person comes back to the application and put it in there. So so uh, uh, like it's gonna be like so like this. It's gonna be like like this. So probably you're gonna have a new screen. Uh, you're gonna have a new screen right here. Okay, let's just imagine that this is a new screen for you. Let's just imagine this is a new screen for you. So the way it's going to be, it's going to be like a, immediately this person logs in, um, you, you put a form. So let's just put a form. You put a form like so. To make it beautiful, this form could be a pop-up. So it's still going to be a list of users. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a list of users. Um, but the feed, it's not going to contain the email feed. It's not going to contain the password feeds. Is going to contain a verification feed yeah it's going, to, it's going to contain a verification feed and the uh, button the submit button is going to be different so when a person puts the verification feed that's the only time this this uh, button will fire so you can change it to um, authorize you know you can change it to something different it doesn't really matter so then you then put you then put uh, um, you would then put a a a you would then put a block yeah you would then put a block to say if the if the 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 verification code is the same with this then the person should move to another screen that's the way you do it so normally it's going to log in the users but it's not going to move to another screen so what you say is this you're going to say you're going to going to create another action you're going to link to another screen called probably the home screen yeah but it's not going to be all the time it's going to be sometimes 
So what's going to happen here is that it's going to be sometimes if it's going to be sometimes if it's going to be sometimes if um, if logged in user okay if uh, if logged in users if logged in users verification code if logged in user if logged in users logged in users verification code is equal to yeah is equal to is equal to uh what's on the screen so that's what's going to be is equal to what's on the screen okay let's do it this way let's take away this form i think it's pretty confusing let's just put an input let's put an input a test input right here like so let's put a test input instead of instead of that i think it's going to make sense if we put a test input so we're going to put a test input yeah then put a button i think this way it's going to make a whole lot more sense put a button like so and this button will go just going to call it verify we're going to call the button verify so when a user comes from the sign up page they're going to see a pop-up like this they're going to see a pop-up like this that will tell them to verify so what is going to happen is well, this is then this verify when you click on the screen they're going to go to another screen to the home page yeah just like what we we're trying to do like do before but it's going to be it's going to be sometimes so what's going to happen it's going to be sometimes if if yeah if the logged in user logged in user if the logged in users verification yeah is equal to is equal to the input yeah is equal to what's in the input feed that's the only way it's going to move to the other screen yeah that's the only way it's going to be, it's going to move to the other screen only else you can actually put another word down here you can put another word down here that's going to that's going to happen if the login user it's not so if the login user is not it's going to redirect to another page and say hey you it's an error and put it all over again it's an error and put it all over again that's the way that's the way you're going to do it so if we go ahead and fill our form right now if we go ahead and fill our form right now you, you it should populate if we go ahead and fill our form right now let's see if we have uh, how many users we have so i'm going to go back here and delete this user i'm going to delete this user right right there because we want it to automatically populate the verification code. I'm going to delete the users. I'm going to preview the app. So it's taking some time. That's how I download it. You get you, you kind of learn while you're doing a tutorial yourself. So I'm going to just sign up. So I'm going to sign up and just, you know, sign up with my name. No code, no code. So I'm going to sign up like so. Say so sign up. Oh, it's already taken, so I'm just going to use another one. Say it's already taken, sign up. So I'm going to sign up. And this shouldn't take us to the other screen because we didn't configure this particular app like so. Uh, so what we're going to do is that if we go, if we click on the on the records, uh, we see we just added a new record. So it should populate the verification code by itself. So you can see. This is the verification code 102656. So this is the code that your users will then put. And if it's right, if it's the same thing with this, then they move to the other screen. If it's not the same, they will have to stay in that screen and keep on trying. So that's the way it is. That's how to impute data automatically without your users writing it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. A little bit bumpy, right? I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can subscribe. You can leave a comment. And definitely I'll get back to you. And if you want to work on a dialogue project, feel free to reach out to us at nocode45.com. We'll definitely do a lot to you know help you out the best that we can. Thank you so much for watching.